Hello everyone, Dimple here again welcoming you all to today's session on Android Framework Components. Uh, today we will see one of the interesting topics like how to access the content provider in Android through ADB commands. So content provider is again a very very important part of an activity. We know an application has uh, different important parts, activity, service, content provider, broadcast receivers, all these things, right? So for an application to access data from any other application the time uh, where the data will be stored in the database that's the content provider now this content provider how to access and how to view the content of that database through adb commands that we will see today so let's get started without any delay So content provider is nothing but it's a way to share data with other apps. So an application can have its own data or sorry, an application can have its own content provider or it can share content provider with other applications where data is safe and secure. So for example, uh, there is a content provider for all the contacts in your mobile phone. So the default contacts application inside your phone will basically use this data. If I write any uh, dummy application to access this uh, uh, contacts, I can access this contact provider database, sorry, content provider database, where the, all the contacts will be there. So I can either implement my own content provider in my application or I can uh, use the already available content provider in my other applications. But data is very, very safe and secure. So content provider presents data to the external application as one or more tables that are similar to tables found in relational database. It's nothing but the uh, data is stored in the form of a database, tables and rows and columns. Fine. So obviously it's stored in the form of rows and columns. So this was an overall picture I just wanted to show. Uh, data is stored here and, and other applications can uh, access that particular content provider through cursor loader and uh, this one. Cursor loader I'll tell you all in the next slide. So when you want to access data in content provider, you will basically use the content resolver. Okay, see this is my database where I have stored all my data in the form of rows and columns and through content provider I'm accessing that particular data so if I want to access anything then I have to use content resolver and then we use cursor loader to query the data we have to use the cursor right that cursor should point to some row and some column right to get the data so we use cursor loader and then uh, through cursor loader we can actually use uh, the uh, data in our activity or our application so i hope this is clear just remember we are just uh, using content resolver okay so before moving on to the actual adb command i just wanted to explain the basics of content provider Next, we'll see a uh, very, very important thing, content URI. So content URI is a URI, okay? unique resource identifier that identifies data in the provider. It uses symbolic name of the entire provider. So it starts with content. Actually, this should be small, let us see. It's not capital. Content colon slash slash and authority. Authority is nothing but the entire provider name, the name of the a resource which we are trying to access okay and the path okay path is nothing but the table name to which table we are actually pointing to so authority is the resource we are trying to access for example if we want to access the contacts then here it should be contacts and here it should be the table name in that contacts resource there will be multiple tables right so that table name we have to use here so this is the format of the content URI. So it's nothing but that's the way how we basically access the database. So next we'll come to the ADB command. So if I want to access this content provider or if I want to view the contents of this content provider through ADB command, I have to use this shell command, okay? ADB shell content space query hyphen hyphen URI 
okay because i'm telling i'm using this particular uri so that's why i have to give hyphen hyphen uri and followed by content settings so here i am basically accessing the settings application the data of my settings application so that's why i write settings slash secure so settings application will have different tables like secure table global table private table okay different settings will be there so under settings uh, application settings resource i am basically accessing secure here this is just an example but this is the format i wanted to tell you all so uh, before showing you all the actual uh, adb command uh, to access the content uh, provider resources to view the contents of that i just wanted to give you all a summary of what is content provider in android and uh, what is the content uri format so once this is done now we are ready to move on to the video demonstration so i have already uh, recorded a video i have connected my device and i have recorded these commands so uh, let me start this video and i'll explain how this command works so basically this is my command prompt i have connected my device and i'm using this adb shell content query uri content settings dot secure that means i'm i want to see the contents of this settings secure table settings application inside that my secure table once i give enter see i can see so many entries here okay there are so many rows and there are uh, multiple entries so for example row 0 has id number 22 it contains the details about the lock screen show notification and value 1 is stored in that particular row row number 1 has the id is equal to 42 and it's having the details about aware lock enabled so in every row a unique value uh, a unique parameter and its value has been stored and every row has a particular unique id so there are multiple rows here i'm scrolling down and there are totally 117 rows basically here so 117 parameters in my settings uh, application has been stored in this secure table right so show ime with hard keyboard or anything any details about each and every setting and the value of that setting will be stored in this particular table so this is how it looks like so we saw settings secure entry okay now we'll see settings global global are nothing but the settings which are available for all the applications they are not very very private settings okay so let me uh, give enter and here we'll see 156 entries are there okay so again row number 0 has something name carrier app names and the value so there is a parameter there is a setting and there is a value for that setting stored in the in that particular row okay each row has a unique id again and you can observe that id is not uh, same as the row number there is a unique id generated randomly we can see job scheduler we can see battery mode all the different entries related to alarm manager network okay job scheduler we can see and a call audio call audio volume we are able to see here so if you go through these tables you will get an idea like what are the parameters which are stored in every table okay let me clear this and we'll see another uh, entry settings system there is another table called set system so this part will be the same i'm just showing the different examples of the settings table so your system related it's related to system applications and there are totally 50 change uh, entries so we can see smart docking external display default display resolution what should be the resolution that value is stored what is the ring tone what is the font scale 
ओके एवरीथिंग ऑल सच डिटेल्स 59 एंट्रीज आर देयर व्हाट शुड बी द स्क्रीन ब्राइटनेस ओके ऑटो ब्राइटनेस डिस्प्ले डिफॉल्ट डेंसिटी वैल्यू हैप्टिक फीडबैक एलईडी नोटिफिकेशन फॉर ऑल दिस इट शुड बी एनेबल्ड इफ इट इज एनेबल्ड वन इज स्टोर्ड इफ इट इज डिसेबल्ड जीरो इज स्टोर्ड इफ इट हैज एनी अदर स्ट्रिंग वैल्यू दैट स्ट्रिंग वैल्यू विल बी स्टोर्ड सो यू कैन हैव अ लुक एट दिस एंड यू विल गेट एन आईडिया how the data is stored in the content provider in this particular settings application so we sh- we saw three different settings so we saw content uh, settings settings table and we saw secure settings we saw global settings and we saw system settings so all these are the three different tables in the settings and it has different access levels for example secure settings will not be accessible by everyone it will be accessible only to system applications global settings will be accessible by everyone and system settings again uh, it has few uh, restrictions for only few system apps can access these particular settings so if you go through this uh, you will come to know the different settings available in the uh, settings uh, resource table so this was the demo i wanted to give you all let's move on yeah i hope this was informative and helpful you all got an idea of what is content provider in android how the uri looks like and how to access this content provider through adb shell command and you you all saw what are the different contents or entries which are pro- present in the settings table so um, i hope this was informative and helpful to everyone thanks everyone for watching i'll meet you all soon in my next session until then everyone take care signing off dimple